Welcome everyone to another HitFilm Express tutorial. Today, I'll be showing you how to make this awesome handwritten vlog intro text in HitFilm Express. Today's video tutorial will be rated 2 stars out of 5 on the difficulty scale. You do need a basic understanding of HitFilm, but beyond that it'll be pretty easy. And before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want more HitFilm and in general video editing tutorials like this one, and follow me on Twitter at shiny underscore films if you want more updates than I can give here on YouTube. But with all of that being said, let's get straight on into this tutorial. As you can see here, I've got this one comp opened up which has two clips which I've just put side by side, and it's got this text layer on top, which I'm actually going to delete. The reason I have this text layer on here is just to show you that having a text layer with uh, a script font and uh, some text put in, it doesn't really work, because it looks okay and it looks acceptable, but it doesn't really have that handwritten feel. It still looks like a text font, and so we want to make it look really genuinely handwritten. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to just have your clips ready. I put them in this comp shot, as you can see of course, just because it's easier to layer stuff on top of one another here, but you can also do this in the editor, it'll work just fine. So the first thing you need to do in actually creating your text though is just handwrite your text. And we're going to be handwriting our text today just because it gives a much more real feel. It doesn't need to be super neat, uh, anything like that, it just needs to be handwritten and needs to feel and look genuine. So I've used just a permanent marker and a sheet of white paper and I've just written uh, my channel name and then also some bits like Friday vlog uh, on a sheet of paper and then I just took photos of them uh, and then I'm going to bring these into HitFilm. So in HitFilm now, as you can see here, if I just go back into the editing workspace so that we have a bigger trimmer here, as you can see I've just got these pieces uh, of text, uh, these pictures which have just the text on the paper, I just took photos of them, you can scan them but Taking photos will work as well, that's how easy this is. Um, and then once you've got that, all you need to do is drag this stuff into your comp and we'll begin compositing it. So I'll go back into the compositing workspace again so we have a bigger viewer. So I'll move uh, over into the media panel and just drag my shiny films text into the comp like so. As you can see, the actual photo is a lot higher resolution than the video, so what we can do is just go to the transform and just drag the scale value down. Now what we want to do is separate the text from the background, but before we do that, we want to make sure that we have a clear value of what the text is and what the white background is, because the white background is actually kind of grey at the moment and the text is also kind of a dark grey as well. So we want to make that separation uh, really crisp. And the way we're going to do that is using, is using the threshold effect. So just search up for the threshold effect and apply it onto your clip uh, in the effects here. And you'll notice that what it does is it either turns everything to black or to white. And you can adjust the threshold to see which bits are white and how much of it is black. You want to just, want to, just want to find, of course, somewhere in the middle, like so. And if you get black bits that end up invading into your text, then you're going to have to retake a photo with more balanced lighting, but it should be okay. Now we're going to have to create a mask. Uh, a mask is basically telling us that we only want the text to be visible in a certain area. And that's because at this threshold, uh, we've got all kinds of other things on the edge of the photo that are black that we don't want to be there. So we're going to have to mask the text out. To do that, just go onto the pen little icon here, the freehand mask tool, and you can just hit a point on your video and that'll start uh, your mask. If you just click again, then it'll create another point and it'll make a line between those two points. And if you just keep clicking around your text, like so, then you should be able to create a really rough mask around your text. And uh, once you're done, just make sure you click back on the original point, and that way it'll close the loop for us, and it'll make sure that our text is only visible in this area. So we have a couple of issues here. First of all, the background is still white, and our text is black. Black is fine for a lot of things, but in this vlog kind of uh, situation, I'd rather have a more colorful text. So. In the threshold, in the color 2, just go ahead and make sure that it's a very nice bright red and just hit OK. And now it's time to get rid of, of that white background. So to do that, we'll just apply the luminance key. 
just drag this effect on after the threshold effect. You'll notice it's done the wrong thing at the beginning, so just open it up, and instead of saying key out darker, we want to key out brighter, like so. And now we have just our red text. You can adjust the threshold to see how much uh, is keyed out and how much isn't, but of course you can just leave it around the middle and it should be fine with that filled in text like so. Now we can just adjust the scale, make it bigger, put it into frame as we want it. And there you have our handwritten text uh, put into our video layer. Now you can end it there and it looks pretty good to be honest, uh, but there's something that I want to do just to make this feel a little bit more lively. What you can do is uh, you could animate this text uh, on the sheet of paper, but that's a lot of effort. And so what I want to do just to add a little bit more movement uh, and to give this a little bit more uh, energy is to just grab the shake effect and drag it on after all of our effects there. And if we just play it back, you'll notice it starts shaking the text around. It looks pretty bad at the moment and I don't really like the way it looks. So we're going to adjust a couple of the parameters just to make sure it looks more suitable for the kind of text shake that we want. So if we just open up the shake, the amount is kind of like the distance that it will shake, as you can see. So we don't want it to shake that much. We want to actually make it shake 15, which is about half of the amount that it normally shakes. I'm in a 1080p composite here. So if you have like a 4K composite, you might want to make it shake more and stuff like that, of course. I also want to increase the speed a lot to something like three or four. And that way it'll have this kind of jittery shake, which will just give it a little bit more energy. And it's up to you, of course, but under motion blur, you can either turn it off or leave it on comp settings. If you leave it on comp settings, then it'll add a little bit of motion blur when it moves around, or you can turn it off if you want to keep that kind of 2D kind of dimensional look. And that's basically how you do it. I'm just going to redo the steps for you on the second piece of text, just in case you've forgotten, or just in case you have a second piece of text like I do, this Friday vlog intro. So I'm just going to shorten this, and I'm just going to drag the new one in, like so, drag it around in here, scale it down. I'm going to create a mask first actually, just cause it's probably easier. And then I'll just go back to the normal selection tool so we get rid of that uh, masking tool. Then I'm just going to apply some of those effects, that threshold effect first. And I'm just going to set the uh, background color to a nice deep red. I'm just going to adjust the threshold so that that little red bit there stops creeping in. Now I'm just going to uh, go to the uh, luminance key and drag that effect on, just like so. Key out the brighter. And then I'm just going to copy paste that shake effect from before because I'm not bothered to memorize all the parameters for that one. And we've got our secondary text Friday vlog here as well. And the great thing about doing it handwritten is that really you can customize this in any way you want. If you just had a font, it looks very fake and computer generated. Anyhow, that does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then be make sure to like the video uh, because it helps me out a lot and it'll help other people find out this video. Make sure to subscribe if you want any more tutorials and videos like this one. And I will see you in the next video. Stay shiny.